Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you the most important transactions of SAP PP, so production planning. In general, the SAP module for production planning, so SAP PP, is used to map all production processes within a company in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. It enables the sometimes very different production processes of different companies to be combined and mapped in one SAP module. For this purpose, the existing production processes are analyzed and divided into different categories such as mass production, type production, series production and make to order production. The goal of production planning is to find the most suitable production type for each process. The choice of the most suitable type has a decisive influence on process execution and logistics. In practice, several production types are often used in parallel to map the production of a company. Here I'm logged into the SAP system and here right now you can see the very important area menu. It's the area menu PP01. If you uh, would like to open up the area menu, so if you would like to show the most important transactions for production planning, then unfortunately you cannot just type in the um, ID PP01 in the command field. So that is normally the way how you execute and call an area menu because if you would do this, then you will end up in the transaction PP01 to maintain objects. So unfortunately you can't do this this way. So you have to set up the start menu in your user profile. And to do this, you can open up the transaction as you use three in the command field, then you will end up in here. And then within the defaults tab there, you can yeah, type in the start menu, menu PP01 and then click on the save button. Or you can also choose system, user profile and user data to reach the user profile. And yeah, basically I can highly recommend to set up the, um, the PP01 area menu. Uh, within here, you can see the most important transactions for for production planning and if you don't see the transaction code at the beginning of this note then on the extras and settings and there you can set the checkbox or the setting display technical name and then uh, yeah, click on the continue button and then basically directly immediately you will see at the beginning the transaction code of this transaction within this node. Uh, now basically I would like to go through the most important transactions. I would like to show you them. Let's start with the CA01 transaction. Uh, this is uh, one transaction to create a uh, routing and then we will move over to the CA11. Here you can create referent op reference operations, uh, operation sets. Then we will move over to the CA21. Within here you can create rate routing. Then we will move over to the CA31. Within here you can create reference rate routing then we will move over to the coio here you have the process order information system so you will get yeah um, nice information about very important sap pp data and then we have the co09 transaction so you have the availability overview then you have the CR01 to create a work center. Then you have the CR60 transaction. So you have the work center information system. And then we will move over to the CS01. And within here, you can create the material boom. Then we will move over to the CS11. Uh, here you can explode the boom, then we move over to the CS12. So here you have the, uh, yeah, the multi-level boom, 
then you have the CS13. So the summarized boom, then uh, very important for the material resource planning, the MD01. So here you can do the material resource planning run. Then we will move over to the MD02. You have the multi-level MRP. Then you have the MD04. So here the stock requirements list. Then we have the MD05. So um, yeah, basically the MRP list. Then the MD07. So the stock requirements list. Then we have the MD11, so the create plant order transaction. Then the MD12 to change the plant order. Then you have the MD40 transaction, so the master reduction scheduling planning run. Then you have the MD41, so for the multi level. And then the MD42 for the single level. And then, of course, you have the MM01 transaction to create materials. Then you have the MMBE for the stock overview based on the company code plan, storage, location, and batch. Um, yeah, Fox. <laughs> I could talk and show you every single transaction of SAP PP, so for production planning, but those, in my opinion, were the most important transactions. Um, yeah, um, please keep in mind the every menu PP01. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. Please, if you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.